not worry, wet one. Stop it. Also, the color of Garnet's middle finger fluctuates constantly between right and wrong five times in the course of these two seconds. There's nothing out here that can harm you. Aside from the constantly growing and disintegrating sand that could, at the very least, injure Steven if he happens to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Or maybe even the lion roar you heard not even ten seconds ago. Nothing could harm me. I am the wet one. Stop it! <gasps> well, that's mighty convenient. It's so soft! Steven's voice should be muffled when he buries his face in Lion's mane. So, you from around here? It's a pink lion. I always wanted an animal friend, but I thought it would be like a goldfish. Or a dinosaur! This really makes me question just how much the gems have actually taught Steven about Earth. Are the dinosaurs actually extinct, or do the gems know something we don't? Because honestly, the fact that the gems haven't given this kind of information about a planet they supposedly love so much that they rebelled against their overlords to protect it, makes me raise an eyebrow. What exactly did they fight that would have its gem embedded in that pillow? I think a gem like that would have been really interesting for us to see. But of course, that instead just becomes another casualty of the only Steven's perspective approach. Garnet, Amethyst, and Pearl are coming! Quick, put my hand in your mouth! What reason could Steven possibly have for wanting to do that? Why was this written in the script? What are you doing?! Uh, uh, stop! It's okay! You write him wanting to put his head in Lion's mouth, then when Pearl gets rightfully concerned, Steven acts like she's wrong? What?! He's totally tame! That's impossible! You say is it sitting there, not doing anything, like a tamed animal would likely do around the person who tamed them? I told him to say, I love you! I love you! That's so sweet! Uh, I love you too. <sighs> Why are Lion's eyes normal in this shot, but then they're still partially glowing in these next couple shots? You came all this way to see little old me? Whoa! <laughs> You're fresh! What does that even mean? You're not into this... Fish stew pizza! Just that combination alone is a sin in and of itself. I'm ordering for two. <laughs> Steven's pregnant? I don't think so. You're not lying, are you? You just saw the low-hanging fruit and you leaped for that shit. Steven was lying. Sorry for using the same pun twice. No, you're not. I've been trying to play with you and feed you because I thought we were best friends. Did all of that mean nothing to you? It's a lion. There's not exactly too much that could mean a lot to it. After throwing the desert glass, Steven disappears from the porch entirely in this shot. Also, there's a window to the right of the door in this shot, but in the next couple of shots, that window disappears. This song, while not particularly catchy to me, is still honestly really good. That wall doesn't look like it's very long. You know you could just go around it, right? You didn't come here to steal the pillow. You came here to protect us from it. Not necessarily. Who's to say that Lion won't just immediately leave after taking the pillow back? Just because he's gunning for it doesn't exactly mean he's doing it to save you. But I'm sure you have other magical stuff to smash with other magical boys. Stop it. Are we really going to let him keep that? We kept Amethyst. Impossible. No, it isn't. 